Hello, I'm Julie langenkamp Menkel. I'm Editor-in-Chief of InformationManagement.com, and I'm here at TDWI's World Conference in San Diego. I'm joined at the moment by Evan Levy, who is Vice President of Consulting at, of Business Consulting excuse me, at SAS. Thank you for joining me, Evan. It's great to be here today. Thanks. Now, you were recently the speaker for a, a web seminar that we did. It was a very popular web seminar on the topic of building the data science team. And um, could you just talk about what the data science team is and why is there a need for one? Well, there's been an enormous level of popularity in the past few months, if not a few years, about data science. In fact, Tom Davenport wrote an article about the data scientist being the sexiest job of the 21st century. What a lot of companies are finding is the value of advanced analytics, whether it be things like prediction, forecasting, um, is proven to be incredibly valuable to being able to understand where's my business going, what are we going to be able to do, and what a lot of people assumed is it's just one magic guru person that knows all this data that can actually um, find everything, do everything. And I work for SAS, and one of the things that we found given our 35 years in the advanced analytics space, quite simply, is it really requires a team. Most companies have an embedded incumbent area of analysis with reports, data warehousing, business intelligence, and lots of data. So the idea of only having one person do everything isn't practical can't get enough done, so they're relying upon leveraging the team members that already exist to make this data scientist more successful so they can do drilling, finding, exploring, and discovering of data. And so what does the comp composition of the team look like? What are the roles and skills that are necessary to support the data scientist? Well, what we found is it's five basic roles and skill capability areas. And for those of you that have experience in areas of business intelligence or data warehousing, or reporting, you can use some of the people and the staff and the skills that already exist. There's five basic skill areas in addition to the data scientist. The first one is um, the engineer, the data engineer. And this is the person that's traditionally the individual that deals with all the data extraction, the data integration, the folding, spindling, manipulating of the content from different sources to be able to make it merge and make it usable. There's the data services team or data services role. They're the individuals that actually know all the different source systems themselves. So if it's a billing system, if it's an ERP system, if it's CRM, they know where the data is in all these individual systems. They know how to log on, and they know what Hadoop is, they know what IMS is, and all the different database types and so forth. The third role is data management. And what's interesting about this role, and a lot of organizations, particularly information technology teams, have this role. They know how to be able to interpret the different fields and values they know where the data comes from. It's one thing to say the data is over there on the IBM mainframe. It's something else entirely to know how to navigate the individual tables or the systems and know what the value 157 really means. The fourth role is something called production development. And what's so fascinating about the world of data science is you've got these gurus coming up with sophisticated models, sophisticated algorithms, knowing how to come up with who's going to buy the next product but they don't build production applications. They don't know how to deploy to the desktop. So in fact, you've got this other role of people that take all these rocket science algorithms, know how to package them into software and deploy it to the desktop. And then finally, the individual we've talked about, the data scientist, is the one that comes up with the great algorithms, comes up and defines the meanings or distills and uncovers this hidden pattern. So it's five different roles. Mm -hmm. And do you have one or two keys for success for this team? Um, you know, what, what helps them be successful? Well, the data scientist is the lead. They're the person that's probably got the most business value of this entire concept. So what we found is start with them. They're the team captain. And build and expand upon where they are weak. Don't make them do everything. So first and foremost, leverage the skills of the existing IT organization that you've got. If I've got good solid ETL skills or data extraction or source knowledge, use that and then build off of it. And then finally, acknowledge where you don't have strength or where you have weaknesses. And we've seen a lot of people either go out of house to hire or train and invest in those skills. So those would be the two things, leverage the strengths and expect to invest in time and energy and, and training. Wonderful. Sound advice. Thank you so much, Evan, for your time. This is Julie Langenkamp-Minkle from TDWI's World Conference in San Diego.